I'm pretty sure that because we try to be a step ahead of the of the business is because we are um, innovative guys. We wanted to get a new installation because we got bigger and we didn't want to, to do it ourselves. We didn't want to put up hardware in all you know parts of the world to make sure that everyone have fast access. So what we actually was aiming for was to just go in the cloud using Microsoft Azure. NAC is a very innovative customer and Morten, who is the IT manager at uh, NAC, is very focused on what is possible. So when Morten had the idea of putting his infrastructure into the cloud, he contacted us and Atea. But how do we get access to data, the applications? How do we do that? And this is where we got uh, the idea of how we can put Citrix Synapse into Azure as well. The problem was that Citrix and Microsoft told us that was not supported. Nobody had done it before. So it was, you know, a cutting edge. It was like we were going into part of something that we didn't know anything about. Um, just need to be sure that it's not the police. It wasn't. So I, I got a call from my boss saying that I have a very interesting job for you at a customer site. We need to implement Citrix in a cloud setup. Morten was very honest from the beginning and he basically said, I want this in my on-premise setup in Azure. Uh, make it happen. So we made it happen. Today, we have a setup set up which is uh, virtualized in, in Microsoft Azure together with a Netscaler gateway. What we actually have here is now a solution where we can make sure that people will get their data secure. And we also are ready for growing. And if we want a new location, we can, we can make a new location tomorrow and it will take us three or four hours. It's easier than it was before for us. It should just be a service. It should just be plug in the wall or you just type in a username and password you get access to infrastructure. It should be easy as that. We've been working very closely together with Nordic Aviation Capital to transforming the infrastructure into this infrastructure as a service with Citrix uh, as an access to uh, their applications and data. What we did one and a half year ago was removing the hardware. Now we really want to remove the hardware, the operating system and the application. So for us it's only the end user application. Now the next thing for us is looking at the Citrix Cloud. We really want to see what is possible with the infrastructure. We want to go on the knife edge of the knife and see what we can do. And that was what we did with the NSC.